Okay, so let's just do a quick tour on the inside of the trailer. Um, we did a bunch of renos, replaced the flooring with like vinyl plank stick and peel um, flooring. Uh, we did the countertops. These are actually plywood with like a vinyl wrap on it. Uh, painted everything white. We also put in these USB uh, chargers. So they're basically, if you're not hooked up to shore power, so you're not plugged into anything, and you're just using the batteries, you only have 12 volt DC. None of the plugs, like the outlets, like so, will work unless you have an inverter, which we do not. And most of these trailers won't have that. So we have these small little USB um, 12 volt chargers just for charging our phones and such like that. So um, one bed down here, which is me and my wife's. So I'll go through that. So basically uh, this is also a change pad just for an area for changing the boys' diapers. Um, we have our duvet or down duvet and then our sheets and then our two personal pillows from home. Um, all of that fits underneath the seat right here. You can actually see that those reflective panels from the outside also do a really big thing is that they block a lot of light. So a lot of light blocking, which is nice because anyone who has one of these trailers knows they're really bright. There's always tons of light coming through. So these panels really filter that down. Um, so our mattress, we actually replaced with a nice like memory, five inch thick memory foam mattress. And it is so comfortable to sleep on. Like we're, for, we've been in this thing for five and a half weeks and it is so comfortable to sleep in. So it's really nice. Totally the best upgrade you could do on your trailer. We also replaced all the original blinds with these blackout curtains. Um, my mom and sister actually sewed them up for us and also did them on the side. So there's the big window panel there. And then there's one here, which is rolled up. The original ones were actually slide across type, but with new trailers, we saw that they've started going to these roll up, which actually work really good. So um, that just kind of shows it rolled up and then the one rolled down. Um, okay, so the boys sleeping situation, I think I'm gonna make a whole different video just on how to actually camp with the kids. So maybe I'll leave that for when I do that video. But here is our clothing storage, which is stair light bins, which we've seen before online and work really great. The big ones for the boys, for their diapers, one boy's clothes, second boy's clothes. And then this one here is mine. And the lower one there is my wife's. Makes it so you're not digging through a duffel bag or something and everything's organized in drawers, just like dressers at home. And then you just take them and put them on the ground for when you pack up. And they're the right height. They're just the right height. It, if they were an inch taller, they would be too tall to work the way that they do. But such a great idea and they work so well. Um, food storage inside the trailer. We have this small fridge, which you can see has a bunch of stuff in it. I don't want to open for too long, let all the cold air out. Um, and then we have some storage underneath the sink that we put all of our soft materials. Um, once again, I just want to make sure this is all nice and cold. Feels cold. Good. Okay. Um, with this, th our sink actually flips upside down. So underneath here, we put all of our soft like towels and garbage bags and blankets underneath here because it doesn't matter if they flip over. So that's what we put underneath there. Um, this panel here is actually an access panel that I installed because behind that was just open dead space that wasn't being used. So I put this little access panel in so that we can actually use that space. That there was also a wall with dead space, which I just cut open. I couldn't find an access panel that was the right size and I didn't have time to make something up before the trip. So it's just kind of open for storage for a booster pack, some frying, you know, like a little frying uh, tray thing for the barbecue and that kind of stuff. So that's one thing, these trailers, that was a huge amount of space that was not being used. And when we were gone for so long, I wanted to use every little inch as possible. Speaking of storage, over here, there's a small access down there, which we had filled with like almond milk and such. And then we have this drawer with little knickknacks and everything. But if I take the drawer out, and I'll just take it out so I can show you. So there's the drawer out, down and inside there, which, Maybe if I take a flashlight, I can show you. We actually have wet wipes and diapers stuck down in there. It's our little like smuggling 
area. Um, now every trailer is going to be different. A lot of them do a good job of using and using all the space, but some are really bad. So all that there was just dead space. Instead of putting a little access panel down here, we just pull a drawer out and just shove things in there that we don't need all the time, but we can get when we need it. Underneath this, this is probably the biggest storage area. And this is where we put all of those white plastic bins. So there's three there, but we've got like another, I don't know, I think it's like four or five that we put underneath there. So we put all those white plastic bins. This way, it's not just full to the top of junk. We have everything organized, easy to get. Now this is something that my mom made for us, a hanging utensil holder. So it's, I have it screwed on there and it's just little separate pockets with things like spoons, forks, knives, all of that. It makes a huge, huge, huge difference for storage and stuff like that. <coughs> Pardon me. The utensils never fall out. They're easy to get. They're not riding around in a drawer. And then we can use the drawer for other things. So this thing has been absolutely awesome and takes up very little space. Underneath this storage, we have more storage bins which slide out that have all of our like toiletries and stuff like that. Toilet paper, um, clothes washing, more stuff like that. <coughs> and here you can see we have this hanging, I think it's supposed to be like a shoe rack or something from Ikea. Mm -hmm. It's meant to go in like a closet, but I just put those two hooks there with a dowel so it's easy to install and hang. We just have it for all of our random things. Uh, kids books more toiletries emergency like you know band-aids stuff like that medications things at the very top you don't want kids to get to and such and then we have our hanging toiletries bag <clears throat> which we can take to the bathroom when we want the nice thing about this thing it has all these little side pockets we can put things like car keys and such in um anything else in here that really to talk about uh, electric fan. If your trailer does not have an electric fan, oh my god, you need to get one. Um, without it, you would probably just die from the heat if it was really hot out. We do not have air conditioning. And some places you really need it here, you can kind of do without it. But if you have it, that's pretty lucky. Um, yeah, and I think that's pretty much it. And uh, here you can see that we did not install... We removed, when we did the countertops, we did not reinstall the original stove. Um, we were never going to cook inside. The stove was only a two burner, wasn't that powerful, and we have our awesome cooking setup outside. The sink does work. We do have a freshwater holding tank, and then also if we're hooked up to city water. I replaced this faucet. The original one was absolute junk. This is a much nicer one that swivels. You can actually put a hose screwed onto the end. It's made of metal, it's just way better in every way. And also duffel bag for laundry. Nice and easy to just shove things in there. You can throw it in the car to pack. Um, if you're stopping a laundromat on your day of driving back, you know, driving to a new campsite, you can easily just throw them in the back of your car. Um, I've seen people with like expandable like hampers, but this worked great. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else really going on in here. Uh, hanging shelf, not much on it right now, but usually we just put all of our dishes and stuff that we use a lot up here. And then I just unhook these um, cords and put it flat for when we pack it up. So pretty easy to install, works really good, nice and stable out of the way. And I think that's pretty much it. Oh, I can show you. Here's a zipper for the window. Unzip that a bit. There's the reflective panels. So it's reflective on both sides, super easy to slide out. And like I said, we leave, we take the side ones out, but we leave the end ones in. Okay, so I think in the next video, I will focus on all the kids setup.